Hey guys, before jumping into this video, I wanted to just say I want to dedicate this video to the families and the victims of the Orlando, Florida shooting um, that recently occurred. It's very tragic and I just, I can't stop thinking about it and I, I don't know how else to deal with it besides creating because remember like I said, never waste your pain and this is how I get out everything inside of me, just making stuff. So. Let's 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 get right into it. All right, guys. Today I'm gonna be making rainbow pizza cake. Pizza stuff. All right, so you want to start by putting the dough onto your pan and shaping it to the shape of the bottom of the cake pan. And you want to get about three of these doughs just so you know how much you're going to need. So I go ahead and grab about three of these and I just put them off to the side and I shape them up and just have fun with them and roll them around. And then after you have these, you want to get your dyes ready. So I mix some yellow with some red to make orange. This one's just green in the middle, seeing some blue and some red to make purple on this side. I hope the purple dough comes out well. I'm mixing that all around, mixing those around, and I'm putting them in Ziploc bags now, and then I'm going to add the food coloring, and add the other dough, and add more food coloring, and add the other dough, and add the purple food coloring to that, and now I'm going to mix it around all in the bag, keep it all nice and kosher, and get it all around there, but then I realized it's not getting all around there, you know, I got to use my hands, so then I just took it out and decided to use my hands and get all messy, and you know, the more more messy it is the more fun it is like look at that that looks like so much fun when you're playing with slime but it looks like slime and yes there's some more parchment paper so I just go ahead and just put it onto the parchment paper and I'm just mixing around the orange now and then I'm putting that on the parchment paper also and then after you have that on the parchment paper you want to shape it to the size of the bottom of the pan you're gonna need three of these these are your layers of your cake so I made a purple layer a green layer and an orange layer then I baked them at 400 degrees for four minutes each then you want to make your cheese so I'm adding some milk to some butter right now mozzarella cheese monterey jack cheese and some provolone because i love cheese and i'm just melting all this cheese right now because i want to melt all these three different cheeses together because i want my pizza to taste good and uh so i'm putting the cheese into separate bowls right now so i can dye them different colors this one's gonna be red the next one's gonna be yellow and this one's gonna be blue and i'm just mixing it around mixing it around and of course you know me i get tired of mixing it and then i just use my hands of course and now for the pizza sauce i'm just gonna use some tomato paste and about one cup of water and I'm gonna pour that slowly in mix it all around mix it all around add the rest in mix it all mix it all mix it all around mix it all around this is going too fast for me then I'm gonna put in some olive oil and then I'm gonna mix that around put some fresh garlic in there put some herbs in there some rosemary mix that all around salt to taste black pepper and mix that all around and I'm getting now my parchment paper ready with my with my cake pan and then I'm just locking that in flipping over the edges so when I put the pizza in here it's not gonna stick at all putting the dough just directly over it and just shaping it to the sides make it all nice and they're nice and good and now you're gonna assemble the cake you want to start with the bottom layer I'm putting the purple on the bottom I know it looks kind of burnt but it's not and then I'm putting the blue cheese right on top green right on top of that pizza sauce pizza sauce and then yellow cheese and then orange pizza sauce pizza sauce red and then I'm gonna layer it again with some more pizza dough and then I'm gonna just make this look like a normal pizza right here put that pizza sauce all around add some more cheese to that bad boy where's my cheese at there it is and then I'm gonna put some pepperoni all around it that's beautiful mama me throw some more cheese right on top it is hot ooh, ooh. all right cool I want to put some fresh basil on top of this just because I love fresh basil. Get my handy dandy torchy torch. Ooh, look at that. Look at that beautiful basil knife. Take this off now. Wow. Wow, look at the beautiful edges. Look at everything. Sun. This looks beautiful. There we go. Yes. Nice. Nice. Cut that. Ugh. Okay. Wow. Oh, look at that. Nice. 
Oh, it's so nice here. I wanted to get the colors a little more separated. You can't really see it right now, but the purple looks kind of black right here. But overall, I'm really happy with how it looks. Aesthetically, it is very pleasing. Look at that. Look at ah. Uh, ah. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. Wow. Look at that color. This one looks a little bit better. You can see the yellow. You can see the red. You can see the orange. Blue. Mmm. That's beautiful. Mwah. guys, well, I've been dying to eat this pizza because I've been shooting so much footage of it and I'm excited to finally put the rainbow pizza cake taste test right now. I can't wait to try it. Um, I'm just going to take this big piece right here and just put it on top. Mmm. Look at that bite. It's really good. All the colors kind of scare me at first because I'm like, these colors are not supposed to be in here. But, alright, really tasty. Look at it. But this was suggested to me by my cousin Roy. Well, he said make a rainbow pizza. And you know me, I like to take things to the next level. So I was like, I'm going to make a rainbow pizza cake. And so I made a rainbow pizza cake, and I think it turned out amazing. So make sure you guys suggest things in the comments below, because I can use it in my next video. If it gets like a ton of likes, that means a lot of people want it. So that means I'll definitely make it. And don't forget, I post a video every single day at 12 p.m. So don't forget to subscribe, because I'll be here every single day. Well, thank you guys for watching me make rainbow cake and eating it with me. It was really fun to do. I put a lot of time and effort into this so if you could give me a big thumbs up that'd be amazing but I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video peace what up everybody and welcome to my kitchen today I'm gonna be eating something I am gonna be making jello gummy whatever you want to call it fruity pebbles I'll make this whole box into a gummy version of itself, like the whole bag at least. Uh, yeah, so let's get to it. I hope you guys know I post a video every single day at 12 p.m. So hit that subscribe button. It's really easy, really quick, and we can hang out like every day. 